Art and science. These two manifestations of human creativity have accompanied the advent of the Anthropocene. As products of human civilization, both art and science aim to understand, to comment on, and to analyze the role that humans play in transforming their own world. Curry and I co-founded Human Machine and Infrobotics in order to experiment with AI for artistic human and machine-based co-creation. We designed shows featuring robots and chatbots that have toured internationally and that have been featured in the New York Times, look at this little robot, and Wall Street Journal and New Scientist. So, artificial intelligence in artistic performance, art squared. Let's start by getting a little bit more specific. Can you tell us more about it? I'd love to. Improvisational theater, or impro, or improv, I guess, depending on what ocean you're closest to, is the act of creating and performing something in the same moment in time. In a way, improv is modeled on natural human interaction. It relies on spontaneity and demands constant adaptation to ever-evolving contexts. Improvisation is a form of real-time dynamical problem-solving. It's most commonly performed in comedic theatrical settings and, of course, in jazz music. In theatrical improv, comedy, and drama, the problem that improvisers are trying to solve is to collectively create coherence through impersonation of believable characters and incorporating narrative elements suggested by the audience. Performers justify all authors that arise over the course of the narration, and an author is the atomic unit of improvisation. Anything can be an author. Improv therefore requires performers to exhibit acute perception skills to both verbal and nonverbal stimuli. It also requires split-second reactions and rapid empathy towards the other performers and towards the audience. Improv basically demands short and long-term memory of narrative elements, practice storytelling skills, and these facets of improv have been described in detail in Keith Johnstone's 1979 treatise on improvisation and the theatre. From an audience's point of view, improvisers must express convincing, raw emotions and act physically to immerse the audience in improvised stories. Improvised theatre is a pra uh, Improvised theater is practiced worldwide and comes in many variations. Some improv features performers just talking to each other on stage, while other shows mix up theatrical performance with stand-up comedy, mime, clown, song, music, rap, illustration, lighting, and sound design, and even, and even computer-generated music, text, and images. Some improv is presented as a deeply rich and nuanced theatrical performance, aiming to reproduce the experience of pre-written and scripted play. Other improv takes the form of a competition between two or more teams facing off in the theatre, let's say in theatre sports, matches analogous to raucous sporting events. Improvisation can consist of a succession of disconnected games. Practitioners often call this short form, or as a sequence of related scenes that form a single, consistent narrative show. This is often called narrative long form. Okay, enough preamble. Tell them about what we did. Yes, so our project is improvised theater augmented by artificial intelligence. Ooh. Ooh. We combine the art and the science. We investigate how human actors can perform on stage alongside machines. Machines such as AI-based chatbots and robot-based actors. In addition to the artistic performance on stage, we also publish our work in academic venues such as scientific and creative AI conferences. And most importantly, it was the main thrust of Curry's PhD thesis. Whoa! Oh my god! Can you believe it? Yes. While attempting to build a digital actor, we explore how mechanical and human minds can interact in artistically interesting ways, and which aesthetic and ethical topics arise in that process. <laughs> so, um, 
I, I, I was really pleased that you wanted to um, see me again. We are going to the zoo. <laughs> oh, we're already there. <laughs> Can you not see? The, there's antelopes right there. <laughs> Silly bugger. <laughs> um, so, I actually wanted to talk to you about something. Um, our previous date, I thought, went really well. Um, it's nice. <laughs> just nice. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I kind of had a really good time, but you, you think it was just nice. But this morning we were very sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we I were very it. sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that was a bit of a down note um, to, to the day, but at least we made it till the morning. Huh? I mean, Please go away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> performing alongside machines is not the same as performing alongside humans. The biggest difference is that humans are able to react much faster and much more effectively. So, to learn how to perform alongside AI-based improvisers, we have developed several exercises which channel the golden rule of improvisational theater, saying yes and... The first exercises focus on improvising adaptive conversational dialogue. We use several conversational AI-based chatbots, including rule-based systems such as the first chatbot, Eliza, published by Joseph Weizenbaum in 1966. We also use retrieval-based models, such as JAN, that is Just Approximate Nearest Neighbor, which combines encodings of movie dialogue lines with Approximate Nearest Neighbor search. It takes in an input line and outputs the line that follows the most similar line from 10,000 different movies. And generative language models, such as Alex, the Artificial Language Experiment, and an homage to Alex, the famous parrot, trained by Professor Irene Pepperberg. Alex is based on sequence-to-sequence -sequence recurrent neural networks, initially trained on the Open Subtitles Movie Dialog Corpus, and its current version relies on the popular GPT-2 language models also trained on web pages. The tools used in our artistic performance reflect progression through chatbot history. We illustrate the limitations and incremental benefits of each scientific advancement with each respective model. This interaction invites participants to explore how each artificial intelligence-based system might contribute to performance theater in different ways. And of course, the dynamics necessary for success. Dynamics such as understanding, timing, status, relationships, physicality, and the undesirable, or by quite common dismissal of nonsensical lines from conversational AI models. Teachings from our AI-centered uh, exercises are transferable. For instance, for developing performance and public speaking skills. Our work was also extended on automatically generating slides for a TED Talk live presentation that is fully improvised, the speakers literally making up stuff as they talk. So, Corey and I have developed a new art form for humans and machine collective creation. Our work both pushes the envelope and blurs the boundaries. We have many different styles of performance. Isn't that right, Corey? It is. In one format, some human actors get lines from a chatbot via headphones. These lines are generated by the conversational models in response to the context and dialogue in the scene during the performance. The human actors can only say lines generated by the chatbot and have no control over what they say, only over how they say it. Other human improvisers can, of course, freely improvise. <laughs> In this way, a subset of the human performers can deliver nonsensical AI-generated lines using uniquely human emotion, instinct, and timing. timing. <laughs> While other human performers can help to justify and, of course, ground the scene. The humans and cyborgs must collectively justify the scene and move the improvised narrative forward.
<laughs> Your family is my family too. Are you trying to get me? I am losing my mind. I am losing my mind too. That's a pretty brave girl in here. John. John. Sometimes I hate you, you know about John? You must be able to enjoy it, father. <laughs> what? Please tell me how your mother is. <laughs> Our challenging setup requires all improvisers to express real human emotions, to rely on their human instincts, and to act with good... T timing to make enjoyable improv shows. In one moment of a performance, which we adoringly call the Turing test, we invite the audience to guess which of the improvisers is controlled by the AI chatbot. Over the course of the interaction, we explore how the humanness or the embodiment of the conversational dialogue system can affect the theatricality and the communicative dynamics. In a study published last year, and using feedback from volunteer performers and audience members, we investigated how human performers in this imitation game reacted to not being in control of the show. For instance, they said that improvising with a robot felt like improvising with a novice improviser. We also investigated uh, the differences in performance by comparing a small robot to a video projection system, or to an actor saying robot lines. By modifying the embodiment, we are able to compensate for limitations of computational systems through nonverbal acting and emotional subtext. So you might be wondering, where has it been performed, or where can I see this? Well, like any revolution, our work started around a beer in a pub. Our early shows debuted at experimental improv festivals and comedy pubs in Edmonton and London. We then moved on to international theatre festivals such as the Edinburgh Fringe, Edmonton International French Festival, etc. We have also toured to international improv festivals in Amsterdam, Würzburg, Göteborg, Uppsala, Edinburgh, Paris, as well as highbrow cultural venues such as art museums, uh, for instance, the Zürich Kunsthalle in Switzerland and the NRW Forum in Düsseldorf, Germany. Ooh, what does NRW stand for? Nordrhein-Westfalen. Mm, highbrow. Our work is inscribed deeply in the larger AI for Creativity movement, which employs machine learning models for music, for text, and for visual art generation. machine narrative generation leverages the latest research on natural language understanding on machine learning. Novel AI-based chatbots rely on state-of-the-art statistical language models that generate likely responses to human inputs. These systems can achieve the illusion of conversing with humans by producing plausible, statistically likely text without understanding the meaning of the words used. But in improv, too, stories are made up on the fly based on audience interaction, sometimes conjuring human experience, sometimes embracing the absurd. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Paralleling these two methodologies is our artistic statement about the illusion of human communication, sometimes completely devoid of meaning and or of proper grounding in nature. These chatbot machines were made specifically as a vehicle of inspiration for human creativity. Using AI as a medium of artistic creation and performance, we stimulate the imaginations of audiences and performers by creating science fiction scenarios challenging the place of humans on Earth. But do robots enjoy making art? Our research can be seen as a creative tool which enhances the human expression. But what does creativity mean when transposed to mechanized expression? 
Our work is an attempt at exploring the limits of artificial creativity. But technically our work paves the way towards pure robot theater where robots are performing for the enjoyment of other robots, a statistically likely feature of the advent of the robo scene. But the definition of being able to use original ideas to invent something new, can it really apply to pattern recognizers? I always like to think that one day we could have robots performing robot theater for robot audiences reviewed by robot reviewers and produced by robot companies. The human observers would look at this like a fly on the wall of the robot world, and then humans would slowly step back and let the robots do their artistic thing. Corey and I will host our Sunday 21st of June a workshop for the Anthropocene's 2020 conference participants interested in theatrical and improvisational practices. All you need to do is go to our website improbotics.org slash anthropocenes. Good luck with the spelling mistakes. <laughs> participants will be invited to join a video call during which they'll be given the opportunity to practice improv games together with and without machines. We are looking forward to making something together. This work has greatly benefited from collaborations with other researchers in computational humor and theater, and in particular, Thomas Winters, Gunther Lozo, Jenny Elfink, Ben Verhoeven, Boyd Branch, and Julian Fade, as well as the casts of Improbotics. We'd also like to thank the organizers of the Anthropocene Conference and you for your attention. And you for your attention.